Namaskar and welcome to Bio Affairs. Today I'll be teaching you Sandwich Eliza. Before that, I've already given the videos of Direct Eliza and Indirect Eliza. So if you have not checked that, please go to the I button. I'll give that and check my videos there so that it will be helping you with step by step clearing your concept regarding the individual ELISA. Now coming to the sandwich ELISA, it detects antigen. So sandwich ELISA detects only antigen. Now as the name suggests sandwich, it tells you that the antigen is sandwiched between the two antibodies. So I will tell you step by step what happens there in the sandwich ELISA. The sandwich ELISA is of or you can detect the antigen in sandwich ELISA by two methods. One is single antibody method, another one is two antibody method or double antibody sandwich ELISA. Now don't be confused with this structure as I'll be telling you about where the two antibodies will be counting. So this is the well kit provided it is the antibody coated well okay that is provided by the company or the kit you are using for the particular antigen now the antibodies are previously coated onto the well of that polystyrene plates or the individual wells so I have taken a single well of the plate. Now that antibody you can tell or you can say it is a primary antibody or a captured antibody that is already captured or coated. Okay. Anything. Now in the next step you will add patient serum. So if the patient is positive for the particular antigen which you are searching for that time the antigens will be bound to the primary antibody or the captured antibody as the antigens the antibodies which are captured already in the or the coated in already into the well are specific for the antigen you are searching for so, So, the antibody is now bound to the antigen. So, after incubation, you will wash out the unbound antigens and you will add a secondary antibody that is enzyme conjugated secondary antibody. So, here carefully observe that the single antigen is sandwiched between the two antibodies. One is captured or primary antibody, another one is the enzyme conjugated secondary antibody. And then, as usual, add substrate which will be acted upon by the enzyme. It will produce a chromogen and then add stop solution to measure the OD values or optical densities. So here, the antigen is detected or directly bound by the secondary antibody conjugated with the enzyme. So this method can be assumed or can be said as single antibody sandwich ELISA I am not considering this captured antibody as another antibody so the antigen is directly detected by the secondary antibody that is bound to the captured antibody so this method can be considered as single antibody sandwich ELISA. Now I will be showing you what is double antibody sandwich ELISA. Both are same, both are detecting antigen, but there as extra antibody is being used. Okay. Now let's go to that secondary antibody sandwich ELISA. So in double antibody sandwich ELISA, what is going on? Let's understand. So starting from the first. This is the empty well where the primary antibody or the captured antibody is present that is kit provided well. Now in that empty well where the antibody is coated already 
we are giving the patient serum so we are supposing that the patient is positive and it contains the antigen so the antigens in the circles in the form of circles i have drawn so serum antigen bound to the captured antibody or the primary antibody now in the next step we are adding a secondary antibody which is not enzyme conjugated it is the antibody which is directly cognating with the particular desired antigen so this is a kind of secondary antibody which is bounding to the binding to the antigen which is already bound to the primary or the captured antibody now in the next step we will add a tertiary antibody or the second antibody which will be binding to the fc region of the primary antibody sorry secondary antibody here i have drawn so the tertiary antibody the tertiary antibody will be binding to the fc region of the secondary antibody which is bound to the antigen and the antigen is bound by the primary or the captured antibody so here we are using two antibodies to detect the antigen so it makes the sandwich elisa more specific and more precise in isolating the antigen or detecting the antigen so that's why it is a double antibody sandwich elisa because we are using one one two two antibodies to detect a particular antigen antigen is the sandwich here antigen is being sandwiched by here three antibodies so i hope i have given you the concept for single antibody sandwich elisa and double antibody sandwich elisa both detects antigens and it is very much essential to remember this sandwich elisa is very commonly used okay so thank you so if you like my classes give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because this thing stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys So thank you and be with me